install and some things I'm going to be working on. i just going to um, look up some ideas. I kind of have some ideas, but I got these from the Goodwill. I even got this um, little pour bowl. This was, I think it's brand new, uh, 80 cents. It was quite a steal. Actually, it was a little cheaper because um, I went on a Tuesday. It's the first time I've been there in about eight months or more. And it was senior day, so you get 20 more percent off. Ten. Uh, <laughs> Ten more percent off. Twenty. Is it 20? Yeah. Oh. 20% <laughs> off. So this was a dollar, so it was 80 cents. I'm going to be sanding all of these. This was a dollar, so 80 cents. And this was a dollar, so it was 80 cents. I believe that this little bigger one, I believe, was a dollar 50. So what I'm going to do is so right now, what I'm going to do 20. is start sanding these. Um, I will be taking probably these over to Morro Bay. We're going to be going on a little trip. Is it next week? I'm just trying to get all of this stuff together. Weekend after next. Oh, yeah. Um, it's about 10 days. Sunday so. after next. Yeah, so this will just, I'll get this much video because I'm going to sand them here. I just thought I would share with you. I got everything sanded over here. Um, I don't even know if I use chalk paint. I probably didn't even need to sand them, but I'm not sure if I'm going to put any stain or what I'm going to do yet. So I went ahead and sanded it up. When I was sanding this one, I found a little crack in it, if you can see, but it doesn't go all the way through. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in there and clamp it and let her dry and then I will come back and probably sand if the glue I am have a couple plans for this I thought about making it a recipe book holder but um, I think it's a little too small for my book anyway. So I think I might, I don't know, that'd be cute for fall if I put maybe a pumpkin recipe, pumpkin pie recipe or something on there. What do you think, Ed? Yeah, I think that'd be cute. Yeah. Gingerbread so, cookies or something. Yeah, oh, that would be Christmas. Oh, with a little gingerbread <laughs> on it. <laughs> right. You can make gingerbread. And <laughs> Thank you, Ed. Might, want, might be wanting some gingerbread. <laughs> But that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to let that set and dry overnight. And then I'll probably hit it with a sander again. beautiful weather at home it's not so much I think it's gonna hit like about a hundred it's been a hundred and ten and a hundred nine um, in California we're having a heat wave an excessive heat wave but anyway we're over here and I'm gonna continue working on my projects um, what I'm gonna be doing now is on my I think these are called little pedestals I guess <laughs> I'm gonna mark my centers because I'm gonna drill a hole in there and that's so 
these mage this one is like about an inch and a half ed I was yeah, like, I think it's an right there if I hold it. Kinda. And I couldn't find a pencil, so I'm going to just lightly use this pen. And then I'm going to go start there until right there. And mark it again. And that will be my center right there. All right. I'm just, I have my marks all there and now I'm just going to drill right in those. I hope. <laughs> drill them straight. <laughs> right. Uh, and probably good. Like I said, this is that old wood that was, it was Home Depot, right? That gave you to, these yeah, are his they were first. Um, first drips. <laughs> Well, this is his first things he's made on his lathe that he's been wanting to try. So I think he would like to get some nicer wood. So we'll do that in time. But that's what I'm doing right now. Okay. And those are pilot holes so the wood doesn't split. Yeah. Hopefully they're big enough. <laughs> so she can fill it with putty. Yeah. <laughs> and that should do it. I think the, the top of the screw head will fit down in that. Yeah. yeah I got you one out. Yeah, you might have to like wall or it or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> there you go. That's easier with the counter sink. <laughs> you do what you have to do. Oh my goodness, and we thought we brought everything we needed. Or I thought. And there it is. What I'm going to do is, after I, good, I'm going to fill it in with this. Alright, I'm going to let him finish this. <laughs> I didn't want to try to do it. I figured I'd mess it up. There was a very good possibility I would mess it up. <laughs> Which side's the top? That side. This is the top? Yeah. Right here? Yeah. That's good. Alright, we're going to get that one done. And then he'll have this one to do, and then we'll get right back to you. Okay, Ed's going to put the tops on for me. Over She's here. Too short. <laughs> so to get up over the top and keep it straight, I was having a problem. Uh, so he's already got one done over there. I think they're going to be cute. They're wipe, yeah, the glue off from underneath there. <laughs> yeah. If you hear all the dogs in the background. New campers. I think so. Because it wasn't this noisy yesterday. Uh -huh. A lot of new ones kind of showed up. <laughs> Probably escaping the heat. It's really beautiful over here. I don't blame them. 
and these are turning out really cute. Um, so the investment so far is 80 cents. <laughs> Yeah, because these were free pieces from Home Depot. Uh huh. And we had scrap wood that he made the little uh, this base part out of. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And there's Andy. He's getting up. <laughs> Gonna have to take him down to the dog run here in a minute. But. I, I don't know. I think I'm gonna paint them and maybe distress them. Might use my Cricut with some, make some stencils. Not sure yet. That one's a little different. Um, it has the little, um, like, you can see. But I still thought it would be cute. There's that. On to the next okay. thing. Here they are, and all I'm going to do is use this. See, I can reach this part of it. <laughs> and uh, fill these holes. Finger spackle. Finger spackle. And then when it dries, I'll just sand it. Yeah, and uh, then I don't think you'll be able to. You know, make do when you forget your tools. So, using just a drill bit worked out. Probably not as easy. Yeah, so I'm going to fill these in really good. When it dries, I will sand it off even. Because it looks like mess right now. What I've been using on other projects. I uh, am it's a natural, but I did mix some jackal bean in it to make it just a tad darker. I'm gonna see if I even want it darker than this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add Yeah, I went ahead and mixed a little more Jacobean in because it needed to be a little darker, I think. For what I'm going for. Okay, moved the table out a little bit more because Ed was having trouble in the little space he was in trying to film this for me. Um, but I'm just going, this is getting empty. I am just figured I would pour it on there and see. If we can get this wood, the similar match that I think it's okay. Did I miss a spot? Missed yeah. a spot. There it goes. <coughs> yeah, I think I like this one all. Green stain. Okay, yes, we for sure have um, the little fill in spot. It got a little darker. <laughs> But it is what it is. I'm not going to sweat over it because there will be things setting on top. If I knock some of the stain off, then it just 
I think looks worse. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. But I don't know. Now, if, which I will be doing some of these as paint, um, you won't be able to see that then, but I did want one stained, and like I said, I'll have stuff setting on it. I'm going to paint these other two with this Waverly chalk white paint, I think, because I know for sure that won't show. Um, uh, that's tight. Oops. Move the other one outside because we had all the doors and stuff open, but man, that stain was pretty stinky. <laughs> that stain was happening in here. So we're going to start on this. Just, um, you know how this works. Well, I think it'll okay. look really cute. This one I got done and it only took one coat. So, and it, it actually hides a lot more of the imperfections than the stain does that um, went out there. So, but I think I'm going to do this one, same brand Waverly chalk paint with this. It, this is called Celery. It looks real sage green to me and I like. Well, I like sage green. Yeah. I, I really like this color. I have some of this color in my house, so I thought this would be a nice color. Um, so this one, I'm going to paint the sage green. I moved over here more because we have a TV over there and I was watching some YouTube. This is all dried. Um, the voices in the background is the neighbors. Apparently they're having trouble with their fifth wheel. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put something on top of this. And it'll cover that. It's kind of like a little um, partial wreath, you know, and a chicken in the middle. And this is just some contact paper. I'm going to make this stencil out from the dollar store, so I'm hoping it works out good. That's what I'm getting ready to do now. I'm going to just stick it over here and get that going and cut it out. Yeah. My whole little setup here. <laughs> I'm hoping to. Got to make room to do what you got to do in here. Uh, that's should yeah. take very long. Okay, I got my stencil cut. Um, I probably shouldn't have used the brown contact paper, but it's on there and I'm going to just, with my cheap little stencil sponges, um, I'm going to start sponging this. I'll probably distress some of this off. Um, when I get it all on there and it dries. Right here is that fill in spot. I wanna just make sure that that disappears. Another nice day over here. I think in Bakersfield, where we're from, it's supposed to be 108 today. Not 
think it's like 68 here. <laughs> Pretty nice. We're not going to want to go home. But I'm going to do this. This is what it should look like. But isn't that, I thought, boy, I need to, they need to make some um, wood grain adhesive vinyl because I thought that looked pretty cool. Um, like I said, this came, this contact paper just came from the dollar store. But I think it's pretty in order to use for a stencil an inexpensive way to do that but I'll work on this and, and uh, get back to you okay I'm gonna cheat. have it on there you're gonna cheat I am we have places to go today come on get this blow right and then I'll pull it off and hope because <laughs> uh, I can see a little place that's bubbled up and lifted but um, I'm going to distress it anyway okay I think it's dry enough I'm going to I didn't want to pill it up wet in case I drop this down on there but uh, we're going to pill this off and see how it went This is looking all right so far. Little mess on the thing. I might be able to fix that by just wiping that off. But it's not too bad. It's the next day. And I'm going to just distress the white. A little bit so it just doesn't look freshly painted on there of course it's dry overnight but I'm just gonna kind of go with hope oh, there's my phone going off just a little bit to you know I don't even know if you can see that can you see that Ed no <laughs> but um, we can see what you're doing with see the right paper. here where it kind of takes some of the paint off a little bit so it just looks not so bright. That's what I'm doing right now. All right, and then I'm gonna start on the white one. I think I'm gonna just leave this um, sagey colored one just as it is, but the white one, I'm going to stencil on it also. All right, we'll get this done and get back to you. I did this one and now I'm, this is the one I'm going to leave plain and I already put the um, contact paper is what I use Stencil. when I make these stencils yeah on here and so all I'm going to do is stencil that I and, uh, see how this one turns out I just thought this would be cute the one with the chicken turned out really nice yeah very inexpensive if you can find the products at a thrift store makes it even better. I poured my paint in this lid. Uh, this is chalk paint. And I think it's cellophane, so color. Well, I got it at Walmart. Again, it's Waverly. But this is all I'm doing. And then this one will be done. So I'm pretty excited that these are s ended up costing me, um, like I said, just 80 cents. Thinking they'll look super cute with fall coming up with candles and pumpkins and whatever you want to set on them. Like I said, a little wreath with a candle in the middle, pumpkin in the middle. But, I'll get back to you and show you what it turned out like.
All right, I set the pedestal stands aside. I'm going to start on this. I have stained my little cutting board and I set it aside to dry. And now I'm going to paint my little corbel here. And I think what I'm going to do is paint it black, let it dry, and then um, do a coat of white chalk paint over it and distress it. So, moving along with these projects. Okay, I got the black paint on. It doesn't have to be perfect. So now I'm going to start putting my white chalk paint on. And I'm just going to use this little brush right here to get in these little areas, I think. So the idea here is to I have that black on there so when I distress it you know because this was a really light color that it will show up really nice so that's what we're going to be doing we okay in this clip I lost um, or actually the files were corrupt so I don't know what happened but the, this is a little owl. It was a bank, and what I did is I filled in the slot. I also did the same thing on the little pigs, which were guest card holders. I filled them in with that um, wood putty, which was that turns pink and dries when it's white. And then I did so much of it, filled it in so far, and then refilled it again after it dried to the top. I painted them all with white chalk paint, ended up not liking the owl painted that way, so I went over them with a the celery color. I also lost the clip on the cutting board. I just stained it and um, applied the vinyl with, you know, cut with my Cricut and applied the vinyl to it. Alrighty, I'm all done with my projects over here at Morro Bay while we're on our little trip. And I'll show you what they turned out like. Here is the one. All I did to this one is painted it that celery green with the chalk paint. And there's the little owl that I first painted white and I was going to distress it. And it just wasn't coming out right. So he just got painted with the celery paint. Um, and there's the little corbel. I painted just again with the white chalk paint and I did um, go over the top trying to sand and I just eventually kind of dry brushed the black over it. It came out cute. Again this one right here um, was only 80 cents. The L was a dollar and this wooden plate was I think 80 cents with the discount again this was the bank which I filled in the little hole came out pretty cute and then we'll go over here <laughs> I was trying to stage this with what I had in here um, hope this is light enough but there's one of the little pigs again I filled in the hole. He's supposed to be a place card um, guest plate, guest card holder little thing. There was four of them. And there's the cutting board. I went ahead and uh, just did that little phrase I thought was cute, set out for fall. And there were three of those little pigs over here is the pedestal that I just stained and uh, stenciled the chicken on. It came out pretty cute. You can use these, you know, I'm thinking with the cupcakes because they're in the paper wrappers. This, I don't believe, is food safe, but again, I think it'd be cute for cupcakes and stuff. I know I have cookies on there now, but well, it's for staging. And then over here, 
is the other three little pigs and the white little pedestal tear tray. It's not really a tear tray. It's a little and I stenciled um, right here. Enjoy the little things in life. And boy, isn't that the truth right now. But those, that's, that's how it all came out. And again, it was so very inexpensive. I hope this gives you a few ideas. But uh, I think we'll be heading home tomorrow. I'm hoping to plan a couple little trips this fall. <laughs> I think things are starting to open back up. I sure hope so. Okay, that'll do it for this video. I hope this uh, gave you some inspiration and, and shows you what, what you can do with some inexpensive things that you find. I enjoy making these and this was kind of projects on the road here. Uh, so thank you for joining me. I, if you're new, I hope you come back and if you've been here before, thank you. This is Debbie with I'd Rather Be Camping.